Hi, I'm Ed from the Darkness. And I'm Justin from the Darkness. And you're watching uh, Rock and Live. Great to be back in Paris, yeah. Really happy to be here doing our own show. Playing to our own fans, yeah. Star de France was one of, uh, one of the best ones for us on the Lady Gaga. I thought the response was really good, you know. In some of the places we played with her, it wasn't so hot, but um, Paris was great, so we're looking forward to it. It's always great, it's always fun to play in Paris, isn't it? Hotcake is something that's um, very desirable and um, that sells fast. Yeah. It's all over between me and you. I want to tell you I still love you, but it wouldn't be true. I know it hurts like hell, but what else can I do? You said I was there your time, but that was my time. Oh, he had a little, he had a sabbatical. He needed some time to himself, and now, now he's fine. Now he's back and feeling more confident about his playing. And, Ready to rock again. Um, no, no special process. It was just, um, <coughs> just natural, really. You know, it's got to be natural. That is my life. <laughs> That's all we do. We get up in the morning, we prepare for the show, we do the show, and we go to bed, and the next day we do exactly the same thing. Every three days we might get a day off, but we're probably traveling. <laughs> you know, So um, you don't get a chance to switch off, really. It's always the same. We're always that, those people. You know? Well, as is a sort of hyper-real painting, I think the Hendrix one was a photograph, wasn't it? Um, it has some similarities, but we didn't, we didn't go for the full nudity, because I, I don't know why not. Why didn't we go for full nude? Well, I wanted to be on the front cover with the girls, you know, um, and maybe some guys as well. I was hoping to have like half and half, so it'd be me and some gay guys and some girls, you know. Which I think would sum up this sort of darkness experience, really. But um, the guys didn't want me to wear my golden swimming costume on it. I don't know why. If something's if we play something and then it doesn't feel right, then we, did, we drop it. Uh, we try, we've played pretty much everything, haven't we, from the new album around the world, you know, but we just, uh, we delete the ones that don't work. It's just the way it feels, really. Places where we really enjoyed the Gaga tour. Actually, yeah, Paris was a really great show, actually. But um, uh, we'd never been to South America, never played in South America before. And um, uh, I remember playing in um, 
place like Sao Paulo in Brazil and it, it was uh, the audience we had a really really good reception from the audience and it was actually raining hard but it was the, the kind of warm rain they have in those countries but um, it, it just it felt really good that we were able to um, to go to these places that we wouldn't have got to last year on our own you know. I think that the difference between stadiums and, and uh, clubs is that in stadiums it's great because you sort of have a big stage that you can express yourself on and you can do some big movements and you know it sort of suits what we do a little bit but the, the problem is that the crowd's quite a long way away so in a way it's more fun to play a smaller place because you have a slightly more intimate connection with the audience you know um, I think with a stadium you can do things like have explosions and flying and inflatables and all kinds of production stuff. Um, but I actually, I think I prefer the challenge of a smaller place because it's really just about the music and the people and the performance and it's not about tricks and production and you know what I mean? Like it's, uh, I think you get a, a more rock and roll experience from a club or a or a small theatre than you do a stadium or an arena. And it, it, um, there was a guitar and um, he had it made, but then he thought it was too heavy, so he gave it back to uh, Gibson. And then Gibson gave it to us. things. I was sick. Um, I vomited on my snare drum once whilst playing and continued to play it and it rebounded back at me. That was quite bad. Um, some of the best things. <laughs> That's pretty bad. <laughs> That's pretty bad. Have you ever shit yourself on stage? I, I haven't actually. Mm. Have you? Mm. That's my biggest fear I think probably is shitting myself on stage because um, there's a story about a famous singer. I'm not going to say his name. There's lots of stories. I, mean, I think they're urban myths, though. You know. No, there's one that isn't an urban myth. Uh, a, a gentleman who was in a in a band. He was wearing some white trousers and did a jump and then shat himself. And I don't think there's there's not much dignity in that. There's not much. There's, it's hard to come back from that, you know. We love you. You say, how do you say that? Je t'aime? No, je t'aime. How do you say nous? On vous aime. On vous aime. On vous aime. Um, France. Je pense France, c'est le meilleur pays dans le monde. Um, J'ai mon, mon père, il est uh, français, canadien, but he doesn't, we don't speak it really. But. Um, love this country, love the food, people, and um, please buy our album. No, I'm just kidding. Guys, come and see us play live. We love it.